Okay, so I didn't actually find the greenhouse yet, but I have just come across this room, which is the laundry room. Ooh, dirty washing. Wish I'd know how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known it was where I'd end up. I've never thought of it any other way. I wish it could be different. Oh, so that's a letter from... Was it Laurie? Lonnie? Whatever she was called. Okay. So I don't think there's anything else in here. Aha! Is this the greenhouse? Hey! I found the greenhouse! Woo! After all that time I was looking for it, I've actually found it. Cool. Is there anything in here then? Need to switch this light on. Thank you. Read that. Dear Kaz, I can tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for the sending, 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 for the sending along copies of the new editions. The cover art is really something. I know you've said that Unknown Dimensions isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought on, brought on a wave of inspiration, resulting in a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I think you might find intriguing. It is reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that's unknown dimensioned readers expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for unknown dimensions to pursue. At the very at the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to an end quite when I thought they had. Many thanks and regards, Terence. Okay. Cover copy. Okie dokie. There's nothing there. What's this? Where we'll do it? Oh, so we've got some more secret passages. Midnight, June 5th. Final preparations are complete. Understair, secret door. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos to find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. In her arms. No. In the morning, I woke up. And I was finally alone. Oh, that's so cute. So, where's this hidden passage? It's in the foyer. Let's go up a floor. Where's the fire? I've gone down the floor. Okay, it's front porch. It's near the front. So if we go back, back to the very beginning. We've got a bathroom here as well. Poop a scoop. Hmm. Lovely. Nothing in there, I don't think so. Okay, let's go back to this front porch. This passage. Go all the way around here. I wonder what this is going to give us. So we've got nothing else around here. We need to go to the left. To the left. To the left. That's that cinema ticket. And... Secret passage by the side of the stairs. Oh! Okay. Oh no. Oh no. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Don't want that. Key. Key. Yes. The sunset light in this house ah, is the saddest me, thing I've ever seen. Eww. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. 
and wait. Okay. Ah! Let's see what the attic has in store. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> 